Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our server series on the Dell PowerEdge R530. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on hard drives and solid state drives. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R530 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, so let's go over the different uh, drive options for the R530. Uh, you can take uh, pretty much the standard SAS, SATA, and regular SSDs. No NVMe SSDs are not accepted. Uh, we're actually going to do a whole uh, NVMe video coming up uh, right actually after this uh, video. Um, so if you're interested in that, you can check that out. But this will be focused on SAS, SATA, and your just standard SSDs. Okay. So with SAS, you can get speeds of 10K and 15K. With uh, SATA, you can get speeds of 7.2K. With um, uh, SSDs, you can get uploads of 3 gigabyte per second, 6 gigabyte per second, or 12 gigabyte per second. Uh, so you have a number of options uh, as far as the speeds are concerned for all of them. Uh, the different sizes, well, that's uh, a little bit more of a mystery, okay? So the max that you can get for SAS, according to Dell, is 12 terabytes. However, we've played around, we've put in 16 terabytes. I'd be really interested, uh, interested to hear uh, what some of the people at home and in their data centers have done. Uh, if you've put in 18 terabytes, please drop that down in the comments below. We'd be really interested to hear what you have to say. Uh, for um, SATA, the max that Dell says is also 12 terabytes, but we've put in 14 terabytes. So we know we can go a little bit higher there as well. And again, if you put in something higher, please drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear what everyone's done. Um, and with SSDs, uh, 7.68 terabytes. So that's going to be your max per drive uh, across the board for the different styles there. Okay. All right. Um, now I want to actually show you how to uh, install them. Uh, we're going to show you um, how to test your hard drives with Dell Diagnostics, and we're going to show you um, how to test the power on hours and health score with uh, HDD Sentinel. Uh, one of the things I did want to note, if you are using SSDs, you are going to need this adapter here because most likely your SSD is going to be 2.5 inch. Uh, this is a 3.5 inch form factor for the hard drives, which you can see here with the hard drives that they're 3.5 inch. Um, so if you do need a 2.5 inch, this is a you know, $10, $15 um, adapter uh, that will allow you to install it and, and make it hot swap. Uh, and you would use literally the exact same tray. Uh, it's a very, very easy install. So just know if you need 2.5 inch, pop in the adapter. All right, let's show you how to go ahead and test this thing. So actually, we'll show you how to install them real quick, and then we'll show you how to do Dell Diag and HD Sentinel. So the install, honestly, is super easy. They're hot swap. You're just going to slide it in, and it'll pop in. I mean, it's a, a very, very easy install. Um, I will note um, on here, this is going to be uh, Bay 0, Bay 1, Bay 2, Bay 3, Bay 4, 5, 6, 7. There's eight bays total. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop another drive in. Again, super easy install. They are hot swap. Uh, you can put them in while the server is on. You know, very, very easy overall. Uh, so now we'll show you how to do the testing. All right, we're going to start by showing you how to uh, run Dell Diagnostics. Um, and technically, uh, with Dell Diagnostics, it's going to test more than just your hard drives. It's really going to test all the components in your system. But this would be how we would recommend testing the hard drives. And yes, it will take some time, so we will fast forward through chunks of this here. So uh, really, it's a very simple. You're going to um, basically on the boot up screen when you start you're going to hit F10, and this is going to take you to your lifecycle controller. When you get to the lifecycle controller, you're going to select hardware diagnostics. When you select hardware diagnostics, it's going to take you to another screen here. You're going to select run hardware diagnostics. Fairly simple, right? After you select run hardware diagnostics, it's going to give you the option here. It's going to tell you it's going to take several minutes. Sit, click yes to continue. And after you uh, click yes, it is going to take uh, a bit of time to do all this. The nice thing too is uh, Dell will show you the progress as it goes. It'll show you everything from you know the fans and the memory and uh, the hard drives and a whole bunch of other stuff in here. But specifically on the, in this in this case, what we're going to be looking for is the hard drives. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, fast forward right here because it's going to take a little bit of time. All right, so you can see um, the you know the tests start automatically as soon as you um, you click it. It's really an easy process as a whole. It's just gonna you know run and run and run it, and it's gonna take some time. Uh, in our case, it took us about 
10 to 12 minutes for it to, uh, to fully test everything here. Uh, once the test is complete, you're going to get green that's going to pop up. You know, in this case, it's telling us that there was failures. Check out the results. We click yes, continue testing. It's done. Click OK. You can go into the results, and in the results tab, it'll have all the different hardware. On the left side, it also will show you a green check versus a, a red X. Uh, you can see that all the hard drives passed, uh, all the other stuff, backplane, video card, you know, all the fans were a good processor, memory, et cetera. Everything's fine on a hardware level. And you can scroll to the top of that results area, and you will see all the, um, the details here on the, uh, the individual drives and uh, which slots they're in. So uh, relatively easy overall, you know, it, it will take some time to run it, but it, you know, realistically it's not you know, that much time um, and making sure that your system is in good working order, it's important. So now we're gonna show you how to do um, HDD Sentinel, uh, which I get is not Dell, but I feel like it's really good for uh, checking on um, power on hours, uh, health scores and some of this kind of stuff for your drives. So uh, we will continue with that next. All right, so now we've got Hard Disk Sentinel pulled up, and this is uh, relatively simple as well. You just need to make sure you, you know, download the program. What we actually do is we have a, um, a separate server hooked up to a bunch of storage arrays so that we can test in bulk, but you just basically need to make sure you have it hooked up. When you pop in drives, um, they're gonna auto-populate and you'll start seeing them pop up on the left. So we're starting off with two in there, but we're gonna go ahead and toss two more in as we go. And, and like I said, it's, it's relatively simple. You pop them in, they auto-populate up. Um, you'll see them on the left. You can click on them and you'll see you know, the health score. Uh, you'll see if it's running hot, if there's too much temperature on there. When you click on them, uh, you can see the power on time in the middle, how much estimated lifetime is left. Um, there's a lot of cool features here. It's a good way to just to make sure that you have a healthy drive because obviously if you're you know, running uh, somebody's data or your own data, you want to make sure that it's protected and not in a drive that uh, is going to fail in the near future. So this is a, a nifty way to test. And also if you're you know, just buying drives from people you don't know um, and you want to make sure you're working with a reputable vendor, this is a great way to physically just test them. So um, you can see we just popped in the 500 gig on another 500 gig and they're popping up on the left and it's just you know simple as just a hot swap or plugging it in and then you can click on it and see um you know how, how long it's been on so this one's been on for you know 2200 days 2600 days but anyhow uh, appreciate you stopping by to learn a little bit more about how to test your hard drives um, if you're looking for any hard drive upgrades uh, do us a favor and email us at sales at cloud ninjas.com that's sales at cloud ninjas.com or if you're just looking for a custom built r530 uh, we'd love to help you out sales at cloud ninjas.com that's sales at cloud, cloud ninjas.com thanks for stopping by take care guys